Yes, so welcome to A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 241, leading on from um, what is the world or what is what appears in form. And I'm now going to do the next 10 lessons. So you can listen to this daily as the whole, the whole, all 10. Or if you're still new to the course, then listen to one a day and just pause and go back the next day and really just focus on the daily lesson. Each one brings you into the complete non-dual understanding. So workbook lesson 241 states, this holy instant is salvation come, is salvation come. This holy instant, what is this holy instant? It's presence, silent, stillness, presence. Pure awareness, presence has got no content, no subjective reality. It's just devoid of activity. It's sinking into the essence we are, the self-same essence, which is our holy self, which is God's holy self. This holy instant, meaning every moment is always here now. Every instant is the I am present. And it fades into the background when we pour ourselves into the content of our subjective reality. What joy is there today and every other day? Because life is joy itself. For our separate body mind, awakening to self, it is a time of special celebration. For today holds out the instant to the darkened world where its release is set. The script is written. The day has come where sorrows pass away and pain is gone. If you're always aware of being aware in the holy instant. Because the minute you lose that awareness, you can't lose it, but you take your focus off it. And where do you go? Either past or future. It's gone. So the day has come where sorrow pass, pass away and pain is gone. If you stay present. The now is eternal. The now is God. The now is the recognition of God's essence in which we abide. The glory of salvation dawns today upon a world set free, your mind set free. The world is you. The universe is you. It's activities of your son of God dreaming mind. This is the time of hope for countless millions. When you awaken, you awaken fractures of yourselves at the same time. One became two, two became 12, 12 became 144,000, 144,000 became 5.2 billion, 5.2 billion became 6.472 septillion, uh, trillion, which became nine septillion, fractures of one dream in mind. The glory of salvation dawns up today upon a world set free, awakening to self, the death of little self, the awakening of our true self. The infinite likeness of being forever extending God's love. This is a time of hope for countless millions. They, fractures of ourselves, will be united now. And as you forgive them all, you the dreaming mind, you forgive yourself, you forgive yourself, you forgive them all. What are all of them? Fractures of yourself, thoughts, thought forms that have taken physical form, thought forms, thoughts in form. For I will be forgiven by you today. I, who's I that's forgiven by you today? I that dreams a dream of separation. We have forgiven one another now. There is no other. And so we come at last to you again, Father, your son, one dreaming mind, who never left, returns to heaven, returns awakened to the essence in which he abides and he's home. How glad are we to have our sanity restored to us at last. Dreaming is insanity. The universe is insanity. Awaken to self, essence, energy, light, love, joy, is sanity. And to remember that we all are one indivisible Holy Son of God. In one indivisible beingness, we have named God. Workbook lesson 242. This day and every other day is God's because there's only one day in God 
and it's forever here now. This day is God's. My recognition of it, it is my gift to him. This day is God's. It is my recognition, my gift to him. The recognition that it's all God. And I, his son, who fell asleep and fractured myself, have awoken to self, to the self-same essence, which is God's essence. My essential nature is God's nature. I now take responsibility for having dreamt this up. And therefore, I take responsibility for every single day while I'm appearing in form, which means I do my part, not I abscond from it. What is evil? But the absence of awareness. And what is an evil deed? To see nothing. And yet think it's something's happening and then do nothing about it as opposed to heal thyself and what you look upon is healed with you. And here's a very important, very important lesson. Beloved siblings, teachers for God. There's a stage where we have to turn inward, be silent, be alone, be quiet, join with God. That you cannot detach from the world. It's all you. You cannot detach from your thoughts. You cannot detach from your mind. You can be non-attached to it. Non-attached, not detached. And realize it's all you. I will not lead my life alone today. Meaning, you cannot be alone. In your aloneness, recognize your all oneness. It's, you're interconnected to all of it. You're connected to all of it. If you're seeing evil, it's because you're projecting it. If you're seeing love, it's because you're projecting it. We're not meant to be alone. We're not looking for special love relationship. We're looking for communion, holy companionship, realizing we're interconnected. If you have that urge to connect to love, to be loved, to be called beloved, it's the call from love. God itself, for us to connect with one another. We enter the ark of the covenant together. I do not understand the world. And so to try and lead my life alone must be but foolishness. And we're not talking about special love relationship. We're looking for companionship. Hold my hand. Let's walk each other home. Keeping each other in check being mirrors that remind each other, hey, come back. But there is one who knows all that is best for me. And who's that one? My holy self, my Christ mind. And he is glad to make no choices for me, but the one that leads to God. And that's aligning with thy will be done. The calling from within. Abide in silent stillness, ask to be shown. And when clarity of vision comes, act. Because we're here in a world of physicality to demonstrate what we are through the experience of what we realize we're not. I give this day to him, the Lord God of my being, the Christ mind, my holy self, the memory of God itself within me in the very essence I am, not my appearance. Or I would not delay my coming home, my recognition that I am home. And it is he, the memory of God within me, who knows the way to God. Be still and know I am. And so we give today to you, Father. We come with holy open minds. Show me. Not with preconceived ideas of what the truth should be. We do not ask for anything that we may think we want Give me this so that I can be happy. Don't give me that so I can be happy. Give me this and give me that. No, no, no. Spirit, Holy Spirit answers impersonal desires, impersonal requests, impersonal wants. I want that in order to be happy, this in order to get this, her to be mine. No, no. I choose to remember the happiness, the joy, the love I am. Show me another way to remember this. Only ask for truth, not for illusions that bring you Glimpses of the truth. Give us what give us what you would have us. Sorry, give us what you would have us have received by us. Thy will be done. We want to awaken. God wants us to awaken from the stream of separation.
put the world down, put the universe away and remember the light we are. You know all our desires and our wants, our true desire to be ourselves knowingly, to be the love of God knowingly. And you will give us everything we need in helping us find the way to you. Even illusions will come our way very often to beat us down so we could look for a better way. Disappointments of relationships, failed relationships, failed marriages, failed whatever, in order to be thyself knowingly. But the special message is you do not need to be alone with this. First of all, first and foremost, Holy Spirit is your companion. Holy Spirit is your guide home. The Christ mind is your truth. Do not push away companionship. What better way to, to, to demonstrate the love of God by being the love of God? What's the purpose of building a mansion, a castle, a universe, and living it by yourself? There's no point. The joyous lightness of being is realized when we share the light with our beings, our fractured beings. And become one. Workbook lesson 243. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. Measure nothing. Compare nothing. Wish for nothing. Wish it was different. Abide. Be grateful. Learn from everything that happens. Learn from everyone you see. Be vigilant. Observe without evaluation. Observe without judgment. What's the purpose of being observing, but you're judging? People will say, oh, we love to watch people. One of my favorite pastimes is to sit and watch people. And the mind's going, oh, look at what she's wearing. Oh, look what he's wearing. Oh, look at this idiot. And look at that arsehole. Be still and celebrate your fractured selves. And recognize the face of Christ, the true essence of all of us. The face of Christ is not the face of Jesus. It's the face of love in all. What's the face of love? The true essence in all of it. Choose to see it that way, and you will. Not see it that way, and then you'll, then you'll believe it. Choose it. Choose to be happy. Choose to be an expression of God's happiness. I will be honest with myself today. I will not think that I already know what must remain beyond my present grasp. I will not think I understand the whole from bits of my perception, which are all that I can see. That's it. You're seeing fractured parts of your perception. Today, I recognize that this is so. And so I am relieved of judgments that I cannot make. Every judgment you make is a false judgment anyway, and it keeps you trapped in falsehood. falsehood. Thus do I free myself and what I look upon to be in peace as God created us. Father, today I, today I leave creation free to be itself, itself, joyous, joyous extension of love. I honor all its parts in which I am included. I am, this body-mind appearance is a part of the fractured mind. A part of it is Christ mind. A part of it is illusion. I choose to remember the truth and let go of illusion. We are one because each part contains your memory of the Holy Spirit in each one of us. The same self, same in all of us, the Christ in all of us. Our true identity is Christ. And truth must shine in all of us as one, one indivisible son in one indivisible God. Complete non-duality, unity awareness is all there is. Workbook lesson 244. I am in danger nowhere in the world. What is danger but fear appearing as form? Danger is fear-based judgment. Who can believe himself harmed but that who thinks they are a physical body? If you are spirit, what can harm spirit? Don't start getting funny with poltergeists and demons, and that's just biblical nonsense. Your son is safe wherever he may be. Where is he? In God. As the extension of God, how can he not be? For you are there with him, and he is there with you, Father. He need but call upon your name, the silent stillness, or call him Father if you like, and he will recollect his safety and your love, for they are one. How can he fear or doubt or fail to know? 
he cannot suffer. How can I not remember the love of God I am? Be endangered or experience unhappiness when he belongs to you, beloved and loving. In the safety of your fatherly embrace for eternity, just dreaming for a tiny second and a hundredth of a second. And there we are in truth. No storms, no clouds of thought and judgment comes into the hallowed haven of our home. In God we are secure. In God we are. Forever will be. For what can come to threaten God himself or make afraid what he will forever, or make afraid what will forever be part of him, the true self, that which we are, the Holy Son, collectively as one. Fear is always for the body. Spirit cannot be harmed or harm another. If a body dies, nothing happens. For a body is no thing. There's no thing real. Spirit is energy. Energy extension of pure energy, God's energy, forever abiding. Brahman Atman One, God, Son One, God, Son, One, Oneness. Workbook Lesson Two Hundred and Forty Five. Own this, own this completely. Make it a statement of truth. Your peace is with me, Father. I am safe. To have peace, offer peace, and you shall know you are that. Your peace surrounds me, Father. I abide in that essence energy, which is peace. Where I go, your peace goes with me, for I am always in you. It sheds its light on everyone I meet. Be the bearer of light. Bring forth that within you. Because that within you that you bring forth is what saves you from the world of dreams. And if you don't, doesn't destroy you it just keeps you bound because you choose not to see that which you are eventually you will i bring it to the dissolute desolate sorry and and lonely and afraid bring it don't be alone hiding in some eat pray love cave in the middle of nowhere bring forth your joyous nature i give your peace to those who suffer pain for your peace is what i am or grieve for loss or think they are bereft of hope and happiness. Join, connect, love. Don't preach, don't teach. Don't make people feel like there's still something they need to figure out. Jesus doesn't go around saying, I'm awake, you're sinners, you're asleep, wake up to self. He just said, be thyself knowingly. Be as true as you can to that which you know yourself to be. Follow that. And eventually the truth will reveal itself at its scripted time. Send them to me, my father. Let me bring your peace with me, that I ignite the peace in them. It's not that I'm giving them my peace. We are peace. For I would save your son, as is your will, that I may come to recognize myself. And so we go in peace. We are in peace. We abide in peace. To all the world, we give the message that we have received and thus know to be our truth. I'm not telling you anything you haven't heard. Even if I'm telling you something that you think you've heard for the first time, how do you know it's true? The truth recognizes the truth. The truth in you recognizes the spoken truth, the word that reminds us of what we are, the word, the promise. And thus we come to hear the voice for God within ourselves who speaks to us as we relate his word, his promise to us, whose love we recognize because we shared the word that he has given us, that he has given unto us, through us. The word is silent, it's peace, it's joy, it's the being of ourself knowingly. workbook lesson 246 to love my father is to love his son and the other way to say this son is not jesus jesus is part of the son as are you to love my father is to be knowingly the love of self 
can't love yourself. Love is not a directional energy towards self. It's to recognize yourself as love. To love my father is to love. God is the love with which we love. The self is God's love ever extending. To love God is to be the self lovingly. God is the love with which we love. Let me not think that I can find the way to God if I have hatred in my heart, if I have any form of judgment in my heart. Because judgment and hatred or fear is a filter that prevents us from knowing we are in God. Because you're not finding your way to God. You're not going anywhere. You're always there. It's the recognition you've never left. Let me not try to hurt God's son, myself. Because the sun is off all nine septillion fractures. And I am one of those fractures. So if I hurt anyone else, I hurt the sun. If I hurt myself, if I beat myself up, I'm hurting the sun. I am. I mean, not try and hurt God's son and think that I can know his father or myself. Because how can I know myself while I'm putting judgment filters in the way between myself and my father who are one indivisible self? one indivisible beingness. Let me not fail to recognize myself and still believe that my awareness can contain my father. For awareness is that in which all is contained. Awareness is that which is God and in which everything appears, including the extension of his son. And in his son dreaming mind, there's awareness too, but he's unaware of himself, becoming aware that he is awareness. Everything is contained in awareness. Consciousness, the realm of the dreaming mind. The mind becomes consciously aware, and then aware it's aware, and then fully aware I am. And what is the awareness of I am? It's the awareness of our shared beingness in God. So I cannot believe my awareness can contain my father while I dream of separation, or my mind conceive of all the love my father has for me. Because I am the love of God and all the love which I return to him. Why? I extend my love from God to all of myself. Eternally extending love, pure energy for ever existing, pure light for ever existing. And one tiny little instant light went dark and boom, big bang, the universe. Big bang universe is in one dreaming mind awakening to itself. And God is not the universe. Universe is an activity of the dreaming son of God's mind. I get a bit swayed by this other non dual nonsense. They have no idea of which they speak of, because to speak as if God is dreaming is not to know thyself, because that which is forever aware, forever awake, does not dream. That which dreams is temporarily asleep, and yet its true essence is awake. As above, so below. You go to bed every night. You dream of yourself in millions of other places. You dream of yourself with millions of other people in your dream, yet you're always localized in your dream. You're awake, and you remember parts of yourself in the dream, and then later they fade. You can only experience your dream from a localization. So in your own dream, you localize. And you experience your dream from a localization of a you projected, and you experience all of it. All of it's in your dreaming mind. And then you awaken, dreaming mind's gone. As above, so below. I will accept the way you chose for me to come to you, my father, my true essence. For in that will I succeed because it is your will, the will to return to pure energy. And I would recognize that what you will is what I will as well. And only that, what does God will? For us to have be the joyous likeness of being, the joyous expression of joy, love, and peace. We want that too, except we have forgotten what we are. And so we imagine if I have a house and a car and a lover and a this and a that, and financially free and this and this and the other, you know, now you just want to be yourself lovingly, forever the liberation of light forever the joyous lightness of being. I would recognize that what you will is what I will too. And only that, joy. And so I choose to love your son. Self I am, 
recognize it as love. Amen. God is God's will is that we know ourselves as God's essence, peace, love, and joy. That we remember our true self. That we remember that we are forever extending that love. But while we dream, we think we're making manifest our desire, which is just to be ourselves lovingly, knowingly and lovingly and joyously and peacefully. Workbook lesson 247. Without forgiveness, I would still be blind. Forgiveness is the one illusion that dissolves all other illusions. Eyes do not see. So anything that you think you see, you're just blind to. The projection of a dreamer asleep. You're looking inwards to the content of your dreaming mind. Sin becomes the symbol of attack. Behold it anywhere and I will suffer. So choose not to see it. And how do you choose not to see it? Stop judging. Switch off the televisions. Switch off the news. Switch off the gossip. The, the scrolling through whatever, Facebook or social media. Social media is a phenomenal tool because you get exposed to beautiful teachings. And when you become aware after a while, you realize the truth is being shared in a myriad of different ways, from quantum physics to the ancient teachings. It's all the same. Quantum is now realizing what the ancient mystics have taught, but putting it into factual proof. It's all the same. Well, forgiveness is the only means whereby Christ's vision, the awakened awareness of self, comes to me the awake mind comes to the fractured mind and as each localized fracture awakens to self it puts down its projected false self and the essence energy which it is christ returns to the christ mind and each one of us that awakens to self lights up the mind a little bit more and there is no more memory of a false self of past lives you awaken to the eternal now no past no stories, no formulas, no path. It's always here now. Let me accept what his sight shows me. My true mind, his sight, the awakened mind, shows me as the simple truth. Truth is so simple. Belief needs dogma and processes and commitments and literature to rules and regulations and how to. Truth is just be, abide. And share it. And you'll realize it. We'll all realize it. That a life striving for. Wonderful. A life serving our passionate self. Nothing is as joyous as that. So Christ's vision comes to me when I abide. Let me accept what his sight shows me. Silent stillness. As the simple truth. And I am healed completely. Brother come and let me look on you. Holy self. Let me look upon you. Holy selves, let me look upon our true self. Your loveliness reflects my own. Choose to see love in one another. Your sinlessness is mine. Whatever sins you think you did, you just dream a dream. It never happened. You stand forgiven, and I stand forgiven with you. Christ's vision is awareness. Awareness is silent stillness. The pure joy of being. All-pervading awareness we are. We're all simply fractured thought forms of one dreaming mind awakening to itself, dying to the identity of what we thought we once were. So would I look on everyone today? So would I look upon everyone today with forgiven eyes? My brothers are your sons. Fractures, sons of one dreaming mind, which is the son of eternity. Your fatherhood created them and gave them all to me as part of you, one individual being, one indivisible being and my own self capital s self the true christ the atman awakens to self christ mind today i honor you through all of them why because they all contain the essence of our true self all of us are the one self and thus i hope this day to recognize myself drop the hope i know this day i choose to recognize myself self same essence it's God's eternal essence. Lesson 248. Whatever suffers is not part of me. Because what suffers but memories. And if the body is suffering, it's because it's pent up memories of unforgiven self. Forgive and this too shall pass. What suffers is false identity. What is false identity? Ego, body, mind perceived as real. 
with a persona and a personality. Don't try and change your persona. Don't try and be spiritual. Don't try and act holy. Be yourself authentically. Be your false self authentically. Follow your false self desires authentically. And through the burning of those desires, when they all fail you, because they will fail, the self will be recognized when you realize the path the least of least resistant was the only one. Abide and be thyself knowingly, for you abide and are in God eternally. I have disowned the truth. And now I need books and luji and, and courses and retreats. And I'm going to go to a retreat to retreat within yourself. Just stay home, save your money, give your money to charity, feed the cats. You want to go to a retreat to retreat. Just retreat into thyself where the Lord God of your being abides forever and you abide in the Lord God of your being. Now let me be as faithful in disowning falsity. Let go of concepts, ideas, dogma to thyself be true. See what's showing up. See what needs to be burnt out. Pursue until it burned out. Cry until there's no more tears. Laugh until there's no more voice. Be thyself knowingly. Whatever suffers is not part of me. Whatever grieves is not myself. It's an identity. When someone dies and you're grieving, it's because you lost the identity. That identity that gave your identity identity. We should be joyously celebrating if we truly knew what we were, what we are, what we forever will be. What grieves is not myself. What is in pain isn't but an illusion in my mind about what can be in pain because self never suffers. What dies was never living in reality and did but mock the truth about my true self. Now I disown all egoic self-concepts, deceits and lies about the Holy Son of God. I am. Now I'm ready to accept him, my true self, back as God created him and as he is and forever shall be. The loving lightness of being, the loving extension of love itself. Father, my ancient love for you returns in my mind. It's always been there. It let's me love you and let me love your son, myself, and all my fractured self as well. Father, I am as you created me. I abide forever as you created me. Now is your love remembered for I am the love of God. And I am that which is God's love. Now do I understand that they are one. We are the love of God, not as bodies, but the essence energy of what we are, our true self, our spirit, our Christ mind, returning to one indivisible Christ mind, the ever-extending Son of God, which is the extending of God's love, the sonship. Workbook lesson 249. Forgiveness ends all suffering and loss. Why? Why? Because to forgive is to know nothing happened. To forgive is to realize the lessons and that they're actually bringing us into looking for another way and then realizing, oh, if I let this go, I release myself from it. And then realizing if I release myself from it, I realize it never really happened. I just dreamt it did. We are free. I'm not a body. I'm free. I'm still as God created me. And then to realize I just dreamt this whole damn thing up. And it never really happened. <laughs> forgiveness paints a picture of a world where suffering is over loss becomes impossible and anger makes no sense attack is gone and madness has an end madness has ended i'm awakening to self what could be more sane what could be more sobering what suffering is now conceivable what loss can be sustained? Unless we want to tell stories. Oh, look at me. Be the victim. Let go. Be the light. The world becomes a place of joy, abundance, charity, and endless giving. No sorrow when bodies die, but the celebration of oneself awakening to itself. How can you miss something that's a part of you? You only miss something when you've misplaced it, where you've forgotten where it is, or you've forgotten where it's gone to. It's gone nowhere but to the self. The world becomes a place of joy, abundance, charity, and endless giving. Be that. Be the sharing of it. Be the, sh the sharing of it. You're not giving money to charity. You isn't giving anything. You give of yourself first and foremost, or you give nothing. Give money. You could give billions away. You don't give it with love. You've given nothing. 
And what is love? What is to give with love? What is love? To give with all you are. To give completely, because to give to all is to give to self. To give to self the gift of all. And now, and this world is now, so like to heaven that quickly it transforms into the light that it reflects, the light we are reflected back at us. And so the journey which the Son of God began as a dream ended in the light from which he came. We awaken to the light like you awaken every morning to the light has come. You dreamt the dream that never truly, truly happened. Father, we would return our minds to you. We have betrayed them. We have betrayed our memory and held them in, in a vice of bitterness, a vice of deceit, sin, fear, and guilt. And frighten them with thoughts of violence and death. Thoughts that we could die. Thoughts that we could be extinguished. And never be the love of God we are. Now would we rest again in you. As you created us. And as we shall ever be. Forever perfect. Forever the extension of your love. And workbook lesson 250. Let me not see myself as limited. How can we be limited when we are the ever extending. Eternally extending love of God. We are limitless extension. God is limitless and it therefore extends without limit. What does he extend? Love. And what's he extending? Us. Not as fractured body minds as the sun. And what is the sun? Pure light. When did the universe go dark? The minute it fell asleep. When did light come into the dream? Space time. And the Holy Spirit, God's essence energy, the memory of God called us all from within ourselves to remember ourselves and be ourselves knowingly. I think outside you, it's all you, remembering you as the love of God. Let me behold the Son of God today, you, which dreams a dream, which seems limitless. This dream is limited. The entire universe is a limitation for mind asleep, awakening to itself. It's a limitation because there's space and time and darkness in between, when in actual fact, the truth of it is pure light. The instant of the Big Bang, the beginning of the universe was the falling asleep. It was just pure light before then. And it will return to pure light again. Because it's already has. We're just remembering that it has. And we behold the son of God today, my true self. And witness to my I am's glory, which is the glory of the father. The power and the glory, which is God. Let me not try and obscure the light in him. And see his strength diminished and reduced to frailty nor perceive the lack in him with which I would attack his sovereignty. So look upon each and every single person in this world with not a single judgment, but recognize a fractured part of the one dreaming self, the one dreaming son of God, or Christ awakening to self. But you can only recognize it when you recognize it in you first. The minute you recognize it in you, there it is. Because what do you look upon? Fractures of your misperception. And when your perception is made true, made real by the Holy Spirit, the memory of God in you, Perception dissolves and true vision, not seeing vision, you'll recognize it all as the Christ, as the love of God. He is your son, my father, everything I look upon. And today would I behold his gentleness instead of illusions. Don't go and try and convert people. And just see them. I'm going to preach. They'll come to you. I'm going to market yourself. They'll come to you. He is what I am. I am what he is. We are one indivisible Holy Son and one indivisible Holy God. And as I see him, so I see myself. Today I would see truly vision that this day I may at last identify with him. One holy, indivisible, holy Son of God, which is the eternal extension of one indivisible being. Father, the Tao, Brahman, God, one. The Christ, the Atman awakens to self. The Jiva, the false personality is dissolving. The greatest fear isn't the fear of death. It's the fear of never having existed as fractured body minds. That's the ego's fear. Put it down. Remember thyself. Remember thy Christ self. The holy memory of our holy self. The Holy Spirit essence energy, which we are. God's Holy Spirit energy forever abiding as the extension of the love we are. God is love. And we are the love of God forever extending as the light of God itself. 
through Christ, Father and Son and Spirit, one indivisible being. One indivisible being. God's not dreaming, his son is. And his son awakens himself. What awakens the son? The father's call. If the father was asleep, who would wake God up? Don't go there. Don't get stuck in that non-dual nonsense. Please don't go there. I'm not criticizing it. I'm just telling you it's wrong. The truth inside you knows. God is not asleep. His son thought he was. His son now knows better. Awaken to self. Awaken to the light. Be thyself knowingly. Be the Christ you are knowingly. And share the Christ you are with all of your fractured selves. Remembering we are one indivisible Christ and one indivisible God. Amen. We'll stop there and um, please do this every single day. And we'll continue again 10 days from now. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you for joining me. Amen.